Hello and welcome to another episode of Wire News Roundup. We're here to give you the latest news from UMass, the Pioneer Valley, and more. First, Rebecca Duffy has the latest on the Massachusetts coronavirus reopening plan. Thanks, Nicole. Today, the state of Massachusetts has returned to phase three, step two of Governor Baker's coronavirus reopening plan. According to NBC Boston, this phase includes the following updates. Indoor performance venues will be allowed to reopen at 50% capacity with no more than 500 people. Indoor recreational activities with higher potential for human contact, like laser tag and roller skating, will be allowed to reopen at 50% capacity. Capacity limits across all public areas will be raised to 50%. However, that is excluding employees. And restaurants will no longer have a percent capacity limit and will be permitted to host musical performances. Six feet social distancing, limits of six people per table, and 90 minute limits remain in place. The Baker Polito administration announced that Massachusetts will likely move into step one of phase four on March 22nd, provided if public health metrics continue to improve. Now sending it to Nicole for a story on campfires in the middle of campus. Nicole, what's going on? Thanks, Rebecca. And yes, there were campfires at the campus pond. It was all part of a campus-wide observance called Wellbeing Wednesday. The university issued a day off for students to recharge and get some much needed rest. And while some students slept in or went on hikes, the university set up a pond fire. Students enjoyed s'mores, music, and the ability to socialize safely around 10 bonfires scattered across the campus pond. Students also received a visit from UMPD's canine officer, Alec, and Miller, one of the horses from the UMPD's mounted unit. More than 360 students attended the event and were able to kick up their feet and enjoy the day. Passing it on to Bree for the final story, and from what I hear, it's good news for on-campus students. Thanks, Nicole. Throughout the semester, dining has been an issue for on-campus students. Dining Commons and Blue Wall will start welcoming students for in-person dining starting March 1st. If students want to dine in, they must first show their green check mark and be in compliance with the university. Students may sit down and eat for 30 minutes in designated zones. The zones will be marked out across the dining halls and blue wall and will routinely close for cleaning. UMass Dining is asking students to wear their mask while not eating, follow the six feet social distancing rule and sanitize before and after meals. However, capacity limits have been set for dining halls. Students are asked to check the UMass Dining app and the live stream of dining locations while planning their visit. This announcement comes one week after the green checkmark system was put into place at the dining halls. Now for the weather, Nicole. Thanks, Bree. This past week in Amherst has been a chilly one. Students are still bundled up waiting for those spring flowers to pop up around campus. Starting on Monday, the weather will be picking up on the warmest side of 45 degrees with a 60% chance of rain during the day. Tuesday will be the oddball out with an increased winds carrying 28 degree weather across the valley. However, we are looking up for the rest of the week as we will see sunshine peeking out of the clouds, bringing us a fluctuating 40 degree weather during the day and the low 20s for the night. And capping off your week on Sunday will be just below 40s at the solid 39 degree during the day. Tossing it back to Bree for our final moments. Bree. Thank you, Nicole. Well, it looks like it's going to be a good upcoming week for UMass Amherst students as a new month of March continues to move us along 2021. Although it may be a new month that brings us new activities, warmer weather, we still advise that the students and the citizens of Amherst continue to follow CDC's social distancing guidelines. This has been Amherst Wires News Roundup. Have a good week and stay safe out there.